Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom, and I'm just going to do a quick release and review of the Jaded Blossom um, October uh, mini release. Um, I wasn't able to do that just because I had some family stuff going on, so I thought I would kind of do a release and review, review now. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with the Sunflowers for Sale stamp set. And if you can believe it, I still haven't gotten my hands on the actual stamp set, but this is the all of the sentiments all stamped, all like uh, printed out for you so you can have a look. Um, the idea is, is that this stamp set is meant to fit in the build a booth die, this little sign die. So you could use the little sign die to cut out these little sentiments and all these little sentiments, whoops, all these little sentiments are meant to go with our gnome dies sign add-ons. So these fit perfectly in here. So you could use these sentiment on sentiments on cards um, separately or, you know, to decorate your booth. So anyway, we have, um, it says Harvest Festival, Pumpkins, Hayrides, Corn Mazes, Sunflowers for Sale, Fall Harvest, Market, Local Fall Goods, Open Daily, Happy Thanksgiving, Apple Orchard, Juice, Cider, Pies, um, Caramel Apples. We've got Happy Harvest, Pumpkins and Gourds for Sale, Homegrown, Freshly Baked Pies. Uh, we have Homegrown, Happy Fall, Happy Harvest, Thankful for You, for you and Pumpkin Spice Season. So that is all for the Sunflowers for Sale stamp set. Okay, so next we will do the Sunflower dies. These are beautiful dies, and um, I have them cut out for you here. So this is the large one, the small sunflower. You can, you can use a stem on either one, or you could use the big leaves or the small leaf. And this is an A2 size card base here. So you can sort of see the sizing. So there we go. Isn't it pretty? And you could, you know, do go horizontal and, you know, decorate with some leaves, etc., which is kind of fun. So um, there is an assembly video for you to watch me put those together, but those are the sunflower dies. So super fun for your cards, I think. Okay, so next we will do the wheelbarrow dies fall add-ons and you're going to need the wheelbarrow die to use this so there is um an assembly video for you and i have these put together uh basically you have a little pile of pumpkins a little pile of leaves and a pile of sunflowers i'm just going to take that off you could add pumpkins to your wheelbarrow. You can add leaves to that wheelbarrow. If you want to make these pumpkins separately, there are the base layers that are separate, so you don't have to use them in a pile. Um, these would look cute on a card regardless um, by themselves, you know, or use them with, like I said, we have our fall dies that has that little wood bucket. That would be super cute to put them in. Or you could use them just in your fall scene. This is an A2 size card base. This is an A2 size card base with the little wheelbarrow, but just fun stuff. You know, you can easily decorate your card with these alone. So there you go. And like I said, there is an assembly video for you to check out for that. Okay, next, this was the freebie at the time. It's called Gnome Dice Girl Scarecrow Add-ons. Now, obviously it's not the freebie anymore. Um, this, because I'm making this video late, uh, you're going to want to have either the there we go. You're going to want to have the girl gnome dies to put this together. And, you know, if you're making a bunch of them, maybe the gnome dies extra part add-ons, you know, one and two. That's always handy if you're making a lot of them. So I put this together. There is an assembly video. Isn't she sweet? So she's got a super cute little hat, um, the straw hair, a little band, you know, a little sunflower decoration for the hat. So there she is. And this is her on an H2 size card base. So cute. And remember that if you missed out on this, it's okay. Jada Blossom will have this in the store again for separate purchase. I'm not, I don't have a date on that yet, but you know, keep your eye out and uh, this will be added to the store that you can, you know, pick up and add to your fall gnomes. So there's that one. Okay. So next we have our build a booth fall um, add-ons and you're going to want the build a booth die to go along with that. 
and I'm just going to quickly move over my fall booth add-ons. So here we go. Now, of course, there is an assembly video for this one, for this set as well. And I just went ahead and I cut out the base for this booth, you know, out of this tin looking um, paper, which is kind of fun. And like I said, you can watch me put these together on the assembly video. So there is a really pretty sunflower bunting that you can make, or you can have the sun, oops, you can have the sunflower by itself, right? We can probably put this on an A2 size card base. So you get an idea. So there we go. So we've got a cute little sunflower there. You can, can do the same thing with egg corns. How cute is that? You can make your own little egg corn to put on your card separately, which is fun. There is a beautiful leaf banner, which is gorgeous. There we go. Or you can just cut out these leaves separately and use them on your card. They're beautiful. I just think that's gorgeous. There we go. Or you can have these amazing little pies. You can cut them out as plain little pies or, you know, pumpkin pies, whatever flavors you want with a little whip topping. How cute is that? Right? There is an actual pie itself. Isn't that cute? So you can be selling pies. There's a really cute little pumpkin to add, which is adorable. And here's a little separate piece of pie you can make, obviously, for your stand. Now, there is also this little tiny pumpkin that you can use. Um, it's great when you're decorating, like, the signs. Let me see. I've got this one. This is actually um, the sign that I use the new alphabet on. Uh, so, you know, you can use that little pumpkin to decorate on there, which is kind of fun, right? There's also a little tiny leaf that you can cut out. And there it is in a few different colors. Isn't that cute? And you can decorate your card with those almost like sprinkles, right? Or put them in a shaker, whatever. So that is the Build-A-Booth Fall add-ons. And like I said, there is an assembly video, so check that out. Okay, so lastly, we have the set. It's called the Build-A-Booth Al Alphabet add-ons okay so basically it's an alphabet and you can go ahead and cut them out so it has the alphabet it has uh, zero through nine it also has a question mark and a little exclamation point a little dash and you you can like basically give your booths any kind of title and I made a thanks for you just super fast and easy um, I did make a video you know, but I thought, like, how easy is that? That's just too easy. So all you do is basically line up your little letters. It fits perfectly perfectly on there. You can use this on a card as a sentiment, right? Easily. You can make yourself a little card, use, put your, build your own sentiment with that. But it's meant to add what you want to say on your booth, right? Have your little title. You can have hello or, you know, mom or dad or, you know, whatever you want to put on there, brother or sister, right? And, you know, title your adorable little booth. So that is all, everybody. So thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, make sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on all of these products. Remember, if it's not in stock, hit notifications so you can be notified when it does come back into stock. Um, and thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And for having patience with me um, for these videos. I appreciate that as well. And I think that is all. So thanks everybody and see you soon in the next one. Bye everybody.